Good morning, good morning. Let's talk about what to grow in the tower garden at the end of October, beginning of November. Guys, we just moved back into our house. I didn't tell anybody, but we actually had a flood and we have li not lived here for two months. And so I way, way, way pared the garden down. I simplified it, um, took out a lot of the fabric pots. And this fall, I'm just planting the tower garden. I actually started a lot of these seeds, not all of them, but some of them before Hurricane Ian. And, um, and I'm just now getting them into the tower garden. It's been about a week since I put them in the tower garden. They have grown a ton. Um, so let's talk about what you can grow now, what you can plant now. People ask me, Leah, can I start my tower garden now? I got a message this morning. Should I start it now? Is it too late? It's absolutely not too late. This, if you're in South Florida, this is your time to shine. This is your gardening time. You need to plant your garden now and you need to plant everything, cucumbers and tomatoes and everything. If you are in Central and North Florida, you get a freeze. So you have to be more careful about what you plant right now. So let's talk about it. So cucumbers, would I start those now? No. If I had transplants, would I put them in now? Yes. Now remember, they don't always transplant the best. So that's something that you're not gonna to wanna to go to the store. You're gonna to wanna to start those from seed. Even though I started these from seed and I put them in the tower, I don't think they're gonna be the best plants because they sat there for like a month or even six weeks before I was able to plant them. So they're small, the leaves are small. Maybe they'll bounce back and give me some cucumbers. I know they're gonna give me cucumbers before, the, um, before we get a freeze in um, December. So I wouldn't start those unless you live in South Florida. Celery, yes. Lettuce, yes. Any kind of lettuce you wanna grow, yes, yes, yes. Um, strawberries, yes. Get your strawberries in, now's the time. And this is for all South, North, and, and, and Central Florida. Um, cabbage, yes. Now remember, if you have one tower garden, one head of cabbage is all you're gonna get. So if that's the case, once you grow like a Chinese cabbage, where you can harvest multiple leaves or and um, continue um, harvesting, off of it instead of just getting one. This is called Chinese blue cabbage. Dill, yes, sage, yes. Um, chives, yes, get those planted. Down there is broccoli. If you have one tower garden, I really like the Parasacaba broccoli from Whitlam Organics because, oh look, I got a couple spaces. Because you will be able to harvest multiple heads. It's like the Chinese broccoli. I have, just search that, like search broccoli under my name or ask me. Um, uh, that is, um, what do you call that? Basil, yes. Although it probably will die when we get a freeze, but still, it's it'll grow. Now, um, more lettuce. Plant the lettuce, now's the time. Um, this is cauliflower. Yes, plant cauliflower. Um, a calendula, maybe a little late to start it, but if you have a seedling, put it in. Cucumbers, these have bigger leaves. They've seen a little better. Swiss chard, yes. Look at all the empty spots I have. Um, this is romaine, yes. More strawberries. Um, kale, yes. When I say yes, I mean for all of South, Central, and North Florida. Another cucumber. Um, that's zucchini. I wouldn't start that now if you have it. Um, you can plant it, but I wouldn't start a new one right now. Unless you're in South Florida. South Florida, yes. Um, jalapeno, yes. You will have to protect it from a freeze. If you're in North Florida, I probably would skip peppers right now just because they're a little hard to protect from a freeze in North Florida. Um, but you know, um, you can plant those again in March. Um, this is dandelion, yes. Thyme, yes. More lettuce, I'm gonna have lots of lettuce. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's called Shakua, Shaku, Shuka, flowering cabbage. Um, it tastes like lettuce, grows like a weed. You can use it in stir fries, you can use it in salads. Um, it's very mild. And you get it from Whitwam Organics, love it. Um, I'm gonna keep going over here. Um, gosh, I kinda went crazy on the cucumbers. <laughs> I think I wanted to pickle some cucumbers. There's the Pira Sacaba broccoli. Um, there's more pepper. Again, that one's kinda iffy for North Florida. Look at this, this is my baby bok choy. Um, let's see if I can find a right here. This will be ready to harvest in like four more days and then I'll replant. Um, these grow really fast and it's just one of my favorites. 
I have several different, there we go. This one's called New, New Buy. Um, I'm not sure where I got it from, but I, look at all the extra holes I have. Um, I've been meaning to start some more seeds. Here's some um, lettuce I just started, more celery, absolutely, more peppers, and then tomatoes. So I started a Valley Girl because it does, it, it's, it's late for tomatoes, I'm too late. If we get a mild winter, I'll get tomatoes. Uh, otherwise, I'll restart them February 1st. Um, and that's for Central Florida, probably March, probably February 15th for North Florida. And again, you wanna protect them from a seed or protect them from a freeze. So see, this one says 72 days. I actually planted this September 1st, but I just got it out here. I just got it into the garden a week ago. So it may give me fruit before um, we get a freeze. And then, oh, that one's Lemon Boy, I think. I guess I didn't plant a cherry. That's probably what I'm gonna recommend you plant because cherry tomatoes are pretty resilient and easy to protect from a freeze. And if you do lose part of the plant, you can cut it back. So I should plant some cherry too. Okay, here's green bean. Um, green bean, um, it's, it's iffy. Um, again, these are plants that I started quite a while ago. I, I wouldn't say they're doing great because again, they sat in the seedling tray for a long, long time. I'm gonna give them a chance though. And I do see flowers. I do see flowers. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's one of those that I like to, as soon as it sprouts, I like to plant these because the stems otherwise get long and weak and see how that one's bending. So these are okay though. Some varieties are more likely to do that than others. Um, this one, yeah, see, it's all bendy, it's all bendy. But um, spinach, yes. This is the Kohlrebi spinach, K-O-L-I-B-R-I. -I. Now is the time to plant spinach. Um, and this is, I keep trying different spinaches like the Vero Fly and others that are supposed to be good for our heat. I keep going back to this one. It's from Johnny Seeds. It has a fantastic spinach flavor and it's really, the, the, it, it really handles the heat well, better than just about any other spinach. So, you know, I, I, Johnny Seeds is high shipping, but they do have a lot of great plants. So if you put an order in at Johnny Seeds, definitely get the Kohlrebi spinach. Um, look, green beans coming out. So yes, I'll definitely get some green beans. Um, just in case the green beans weren't gonna make it, I planted a bunch of sugar snaps because now is definitely the time for sugar snaps. Um, I have more lettuce and I have some more um, strawberries. So I hope this helps you guys figure out what to plant. You can plant your cold hardy vegetables in North and Central Florida, and you can plant your everything in South Florida right now. South Florida, this is your garden time, so get your garden in. Um, winter in South Florida is perfect. But um, if you have any questions about what to plant, let me know. And I think this will be the perfect garden for me being so busy. Oh, one more, watercress. I forgot to point that out because I'm just, uh, you know, I'm st we're still getting the house put back together. So um, it's still a little crazy around here. Oh, I just noticed something, guys. Oh no, that looks good. Look, you can see the inside of the tower garden there and the water running. If you've never seen that, it's kind of cool. And there's the base with the pump in it. I'm gonna this up. And there's the pump. The water's running, the water and the nutrients are running up and feeding the tower garden. All of these here, as they grow out, I'm gonna put cages on them. So make sure I've got my cages ready. Make sure you cage your cucumbers, your tomatoes. Boy, I'm putting a lot of info in here and I'm probably gonna lose some people, but it's all important stuff. Um, have fun, grow your garden. Thanks for watching.